My name is Slava Rukiki, and I'm an assistant professor at the Rutgers School of Public Health. I'll be sharing my work titled Perinatal Depression Associated with Increased Pediatric Emergency Department Use and Charges in the First Year of Life. I'm a health services researcher, and I study maternal mental health with a particular focus on low-income populations. In this study, I took advantage of a unique policy context in New Jersey, which is a universal screening program for depression that occurs at the time of delivery for all birthing people delivering in the hospital. This policy has led to a 95% screening rate for perinatal depression in New Jersey. From a research perspective, it offers a really unique opportunity for research using population level data on perinatal depressive symptoms. I used this data, which is reported on the birth, birth record, and I linked it with the infant's hospital discharge records to investigate the association between perinatal depression symptom severity and infant's use of the emergency department, or ED. I find that both mild and moderate or severe symptoms were associated with increased infant ED use and charges in the first year of life. When I looked at reasons for ED use, I found depressive symptoms were associated with greater non-emergent ED use, non-emergent meaning visits that are at low severity and may be better cared for in primary care. Uh, but depressive symptoms were not significantly associated with emergent ED use. Finally, I found quite striking results by payer in that among those with Medicaid, total ED charges in the first year were 43% higher for infants with mothers with moderate or severe symptoms and 19% higher for those with mild symptoms compared with no symptoms. This research is important because it provides new evidence on the link between perinatal depression and non-emergent pediatric ED use. In particular, Medicaid is the primary payer for over 60% of pediatric ED visits. So implementing policies that can interrupt the relationship between perinatal depression and non-emergent ED use is an important policy priority with potential for positive return on investment. For example, expanding Medicaid coverage to community health workers or doulas could support maternal well-being while addressing infant care needs. The study also shows the benefits of universal screening, particularly screening at the time of delivery, uh, namely that it covers nearly all birthing people before they leave the hospital. We know that among the Medicaid insured, nearly 40% of postpartum people do not attend their routine postpartum visit. So identifying people in hospital who may be at risk of postpartum depression is really important for reaching particularly the most vulnerable. However, for screening policies to translate into improved outcomes, screening must be followed with accessible and culturally appropriate care, for example, with supports in place for obstetric and pediatric providers to reinforce hospital discharge recommendations and coordinate follow-up care. To learn more about what my study found, you can read my study in the April issue of Health Affairs on Perinatal Mental Health. Thanks for watching.